Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Afterburn. This is more or less the, uh, the sequel to Furious Angels, which we finished up last week. Um, but instead of kind of the 2.5D, most of the gameplay uh, takes place on the same plane. Haha. <laughs> Pun probably not intended. Uh, this is more or less a 3D free roam version of it, uh, which is super fun. I did spend a little bit of time playing it just to get kind of a, a handle on things. So never mind that we've already sunk about four hours into it. Um, let's go ahead and, and get started here. Um, one of the bigger changes is that you can kind of choose your loadout. You get three different aircraft, uh, the Falcon, the Hawk, and the Eagle. You get three different variants, the A, the L, and the S. And you also get three different weapons. Uh, Semi-guided rockets, a 30 millimeter cannon, or a 20 millimeter auto turret. Um, so we're just gonna start with the bog standard one that you start off with at the very, 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 very start, uh, the Falcon. Um, I don't remember if you got the L and the S right away. I, th I don't think so. I think you only started with the Falcon A and then the 20 millimeter turret. So let's go ahead with that. Um, there's also two different game modes to go through. There's a, a campaign that resets sort of daily, um, like it would uh, normally for Furious Angels. And then there's also a um, an endless mode, uh, which is essentially what Furious Angels is anyways, um, where you just, you go, you go until you get shot out of the sky, pretty much. Um, so we're gonna start with the campaign. Um, I th Oh, is this gonna keep the campaign from yesterday, though? I guess we'll see. Ah, yeah, it is. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> so normally, oh geez. Normally, um, the campaign starts off uh, pretty, uh, pretty calm. Boy, that is uh, louder than I would have expected. Let's uh, let's duck that down a bit. Uh, how do I do this? <laughs> Where's the actual sound? Uh, this should be in options, right? No? Huh, there's no sound options in here? That's kind of wild. Okay, I'll have to adjust this outside the program then. One moment. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, all right, so there's there's actually no music in the game. It's just all flight sounds and, and guns and shit, so uh, we're gonna turn that down a bit. I didn't realize how loud that was, just taken on its own. Um, we'll see how that does. We'll see how that does. Which is, it's actually kind of good that there's no music, because uh, there are a few audio cues uh, that you want to pay attention to, like when you're being targeted, uh, when new enemies appear. So we'll be hearing lots of that, and when you Eat shit, of course, just like that. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's fine. So you hear the different bips and bops uh, according to what's going on here. Try to call out which ones are which. Yeah, the beep 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 are the ones when they start targeting you. Or no, the beep, the, the double beep beep is when they start targeting you. The the higher beep beeps are when they appear. So yeah, this is a lot. It's fundamentally different from Furious Angels, really, but it's the same relative uh, relative concept, right? You're flying around, you're shooting shit down. This one's just, you know, kind of free roam. Woo! Okay. So far as I know, there's only the three enemy types. You got the basic... Oop. The basic jets and the little triangle patterns there. Then the slightly stronger jets and the hexagons. And then these big-ass kind of cargo carriers. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow, that, uh, that ramps up very quickly. Of course, this being the final mission of the campaign, I wish we could just restart the entire campaign, but I don't think we can do that. Um, we'll see if we can. I don't know. We can't. Oh, that's too bad. I really wish we could just start the campaign over, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Your ship does not uh, does not upgrade as you go. No. That I, that I'm a little bit disappointed in, honestly, because I did dig the upgrade system in, in Furious Angels after you got used to it a little bit. But uh, kind of the the opposing point to that is that you get to uh, choose your loadout at the start. Uh, 27 different combinations, three aircraft, uh, three variants of them, and then three different weapons. So you got that, but 
considering how nutso everything gets just here. You know, it's probably for the best that you're not dealing with. Different shit happening to your own plane in the middle of a firefight, right? So you can see in the top right all of what's coming after us here. <laughs> So there's, uh, 90 different planes in the sky. Apparently. Well, 89 now. One of them we either, uh, destroyed or one of them crashed. <laughs> Plus these, uh, big-ass cargo ones. Well, there goes one of the cargo ones, I guess. Whoa! Careful. We can actually, uh, fly into that thing, which would be a bad, bad time. And then there's a couple radar emplacements on the ground that we'll take care of later. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Another kind of interesting thing is that you do have a time limit. But usually you don't have to worry about burning through all of that time. Um, because you gain time back for every, every kill you do. So, uh, we start off with a minute. And we got, I don't know, I didn't see there, eight seconds for, for dunking one of the bigger jets. Eight or ten seconds or something like that so with how dense it gets in the sky here there's pretty much no chance of us running out of time we'd die way way sooner than we would run out of time honestly Thankfully, our armor in the bottom right there uh, refills relatively quickly, but if we get uh, smacked by one of the mines off the cargo ships there, it's pretty much game over. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Normally we'd have a bit of ramp in time here, but the uh, campaign did not reset in time for tonight, so uh, we're just gonna deal with it. Whoa! Ah, see, we cut that one a little too close. <laughs> Ended up clipping our wings on one of the, uh, the cargo ships there. How much range this 20 millimeter auto turret has? Oof, boy. Oh, yay. Should really be flying closer to the ground. Because that kind of mucks up the enemy targeting a bit. Plus, we get some sick ass extra points for being dangerous. Whop! <laughs> That's right. I forgot those do a little shimmy sham when they lose uh, one of their engines there. <laughs> hmm. That's funny. Well, well, we'll give the 20 millimeter a couple more goes, and then we'll probably swap it up. One of the different weapons, or maybe even one of the different planes too. So we got some options. Honestly, our only defensive maneuver is that barrel roll. That kind of shakes their aim off of us for a, a hot second there, but there's so many of them firing at you at once. It's kind of kind of a moot point sometimes. Although it does look very cool. 
there are style points. <laughs> At the very least. <laughs> we got winged by one of the mines, and then I think a second one came in for its, uh, its pound of flesh there. Same kind of repair mechanics as Furious Angels, though. Just uh, hold off on the fire button for a bit, and eventually your shit comes back. Whoa, excuse me, sir. I don't think you can quite slam into him on your own, though. I've gotten close an awful large number of times, but I don't think there's a... a way just for you to body right into them. Except for the big boys, of course, the big cargo ships. Present quite a wide cut there. It's very easy to slam into. Oh, jeez. And that dude just kind of skies out of nowhere. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> little shits. Oh, okay. Got a radar over here that's gonna plink at us unless we take it out. What? <laughs> like so. <laughs> uh. Fuck. That's tough stuff. All right, let's let's swap it up a bit. Uh, let's go with the perhaps the hawk. The hawk's got the best top speed. I'm going to go with the best maneuverability, and we'll try the heat-seeking missiles off, too. So these we just kind of let go and do their thing. The targeting on them is fairly alright if you get kind of the correct middle distance on things. See, that guy should have been toast, but he was not. Unfortunately, the targeting on these gets a little bit stodgy once you get, uh... Once you get a huge group of, of idiots around you. Sometimes maintaining a target lock is real... Real dicey. So usually just focusing down... Whoa! <laughs> focusing down a, a specific target until it eats shit is probably the best way to go here. At least with these particular missiles. There is another variant to the missiles on one of the other planes that are not quite as strong, um, but I think their targeting is a bit better. See that dude, I'm not sure why the missile doesn't tag him there. Okay, that's better. Oh, I'm not even sure what caught me there. Of course, we're dealing with a little bit less than half the health on this particular variant. But we are quite maneuverable. It's kind of the offset here. The range on these homing missiles is pretty good too. Just the whole targeting aspect. Yeah. Radar. 
Lars is in range here. There we go. <laughs> that shit's really popping off. Oh, we clipped one of those guys there. See, look at all these targets. It's almost impossible to keep a, a good lock on things now. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when there's 80 plus on the screen at once. Little shitheads. Becomes much more a game about maneuverability than accuracy. Then it becomes a question of, well, do you focus down the tiny fuckers, or do you try to get the big boys out there? The problem here is it becomes very difficult to see what ultimately does you in. Luckily, despite the very low amount of armor we've got, it does come back relatively rapidly. As long as we stay out of too much trouble. The nightmare! Beeps all over the place. Holy hell. Okay, well! <laughs> oh, hey Kenny, how you doing? Good to see you. The problem with all those reticles is that you can never really focus one down enough to make them go away. <laughs> guys right out the gate, huh? Hmm. Nearby radar this time. Normally I try to focus those down pretty quick because they can get a little cranky if you leave them alive. Oh, it's dead. Nice. Okay. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> okay, that one's on me. I nose dove right into the ground. Thought I had a little bit more clearance. Let's 
See, that was weird. I had- I swear I had the targeting on one of the dudes. But each missile picked a different target. Go for the cargo ship. Oh, that's not good. And do some dangerous flying, because that does get us more points. Which is super hilarious. Alright, that one should be toast. Good. Ah! Toasted by something else instead. Good job. Oh, wow. All right. Faced him down and he won. Little shithead. fly and forget about him because you gotta dodge everything else in incoming here. See. <laughs> okay, there's two out of three. Don't! Ah, he caught me with one of the mines, too. Little shit. Like, it's almost worth just hanging around the cargo ship there. He can swoop in underneath and lure some of the other fuckers to crash into it. Which is super hilarious when it happens. It's like, learn how to fly, idiots. <laughs> crashed into it there. <laughs> the only downside is you get half the points for times when they crash on their own. But sometimes you just want to survive. You don't give a shit about the points for a little bit. Cargo ship incoming. All right, there's gonna be three of them in this wave. It'd be nice if we could get at least one of them down. <laughs> Gotta hit three of the four engines on it to take it down entirely. Which is a bit troublesome <laughs> when there's a hundred jets up your ass. Oh, Jesus.
really get a whole lot of time after this first wave to kind of get your bearings so then they just start popping out the woodwork. Honestly, the little tiny <clears throat> little tiny triangle fuckers aren't really a a big problem. It's just this group of second tier jets is kinda ugh. Whoa, jeez. Broadside of a mine there. <laughs> okay, I think another one of the cargo ships just kind of came into view. It was just like all beep beep motherfucker and ran down one of the other ones. Fucking great. Oh my god, there's a lot popping off here. Excuse me. Oh, I don't even know what hit me there. Boo. Alright. The missiles are cool and all, but uh, I don't know if I like the Hawk, honestly. Let's go with the Eagle this time. It's got the best armor, but we don't need more armor on top of that. So let's go more effective barrel rolls. And then, of course, there's the 30mm um, the cannon. This is kind of manual aim, so we gotta be, we gotta be on it here. But it is very powerful once you get a, a bead. Unfortunately, it's not quite fire and forget like the other weapons are. And it is a little bit range constrained, but uh, as long as you line it up appropriately. Now it becomes a little bit easier to s stick to one target. Although only the actively targeted one gives you that little aim ahead thing. Oh, shit. Ah! I caught a mine right in the face there. Which might speak to destroying those uh, cargo ships sooner rather than later, honestly. Got a quiet moment here, right? Whoa. There we go. There's one of them gone. Unfortunately, we mi no longer have our big boy to hide, uh, hide under. If shit gets real spicy. It's real dicey trying to play chicken with these guys. Because chances are their aim is way better than mine. Woof! That guy's hitting the dirt. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, fucking love it. One of the other benefits of skimming close to the ground. They try to dive bomb you, they end up kissing the ground. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> uh, oops.
った I swear I did not. Grazed a little bit too close there. draw a bead when they're standing right in front of you. <laughs> Alright, fuckers. Come down to my level, idiots. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Damn it. Uh, it's fun trying to do the loop the loop around on that uh, cargo ship there, but geez, does it not work out very often? <laughs> there buddy come on slow down Just shake off one of the mines. The second one caught us, though. Whoa, something exploded right in front of me. <laughs> Thought I took a spill there. Oh my goodness. Alright, excuse me. Suddenly, lots of gunfire. <laughs> uh. ah! <laughs> Tried to skate as close as I could to that just to see if we could take a couple with us, but... Oops. I forgot to check our side mirrors on that one, I think.
shot. Oh boy. Surprised we survived that. Hopefully it's one and done with the mines. I saw him. I saw him incoming. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to spin away from that. And we are using the variant that's better at barrel rolls, and we're still getting tagged left, right, and center here. Winged. <laughs> See, this kind of game is kind of when I wish I had a full hot house set up. I'd make this rad as hell. Yeah, how you doing? Let's see ya. Oh, two for one. Eat shit, idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the orchestral music would just get in the way. Because you need to hear what's going on. Ditto on the random comms chatter, like, get that fluff out of here. Let's give you some straight up dog fights and we'll call it good. Oh, okay, yep, alright. Now they're unhappy with me. I have not played any of the Ace Combats. I looked at 7 for a brief bit. Hence why I was asking about 6 the other day. Oh, oh gr lord. Figuring that, hey, it might be worthwhile to check out the series from, you know, probably earlier than the most recent entry, right? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, they are unhappy with me. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. No, oh, standalone enough, that's not a big deal. Okay, well, that's, that's good. I might consider picking up 7 at some point, then. is we're facing down 93 jets at once here, so it's like, alright. <laughs> There's not really much we can do about this, unfortunately. Try to pick them out the sky one at a time, while the other 91 are still firing at me. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> We hadn't pulled up just a little tiny bit more there. What? <laughs> I should have tried to go under it rather than alongside. Whoops. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Wow, surprised we scammed that dude out. all of the first dudes without too much trouble.
<laughs> Loser. <laughs> Trying to dive bomb me while eat dirt, you shithead. <laughs> Careful. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't expect to see a radar there, just right in front of us. Okay, there goes one of the cargo ships. That's good. Less mines in our face. Woo. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to stick close to the ground now. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. God, there's so many of them. Please. Oh my. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Run away a little bit. Whew. Well, easy. Oh, totally oh no, caught up to me. <laughs> Hell yeah, you get bonuses for doing dangerous shit. Like flying close to the big boys up there without crashing into them, obviously. That's hilarious. It is funny to pull that shit off, though. Like a hundred extra points for being a dangerous fucker. Any game that rewards it, rewards that sort of play is the game for me. See, watch, I'll just skim this guy. This is when we got our points for it. <laughs> I love it. There is no music, no. You get the, uh, the soothing sounds of gunfire from all angles, is what you get. Whoa, easy. Oh, I oh, tried to play chicken with him a bit too much. Goodness. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh my goodness. Surprised we scammed our way out of that one. Ah! Nuts. <laughs> Ooh, that is rough. It's kind of rough to escape all that sometimes. You could do get the tiniest uh, audio cue when you actually hit something. It's like a very light, very light click, 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 click. It's kind of hard to hear over all the gunfire sometimes. <laughs> Aw, oh, only 90 dangerous points that time. We weren't as dangerous as before. Good gravy. <laughs> Come on, it's like 30 on one here. Those odds are not great.
If I caught something from the rear or from the front there, it's hard to tell. one out the sky and five more pop up to take its place. Whoa! Easy. Whoa. Oh. oh my good gravy. try that we might have better luck with. Uh, I dig the plane itself. Let's try the... Uh, I think these are the different homing rockets. More of them. Better tracking, but slightly uh, not as powerful. So I think the big dudes, or the, the bigger jets take five, the smaller ones take two. to lead to more kills in our favor. caught by there. Slightly more fire and forget here at the very least. Once shit starts popping off, it'll be hard to keep an active target lock on any single idiot here. hope enough of them hit the target that they eventually go down here. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. 
<clears throat> when you start getting the beach you can dance to, you know you're in trouble. Oh my god, okay, there's a radar station there. I was like, not say. I saw a ground missile coming at me from the side. That one's gone now, too. <laughs> Just look up for a hot second and there's 30 of them up there, fuckers. A lot of booms going on. Hopefully, that was a lot of them crashing into shit. Ah, nuts! <laughs> Fuck. We got further that time. Definitely, ground skimming is the way to go. They can't keep a lock on you. these missiles were a little bit better at seeking. Not nearly as bad as the Sandvine missiles, but boy howdy, they could stand to be a little better at their job. I doubt it. Even when I treated the Sandvine missiles slightly better, they didn't uh, treat me any better. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's, that's a big wave of dudes there. Focus down enough these idiots to actually get a kill. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. bad when you're at a pretty severe vertical angle. 
bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> oh, great. Three of them just plowed straight into the ground. Whoa, beep, beep, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oops. These guys uh, need to learn how to drive. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only got half points for both of them, but, uh, you know, so it goes. So it goes. Ah. Man, even if that cargo ship taking out one of its own and then itself couldn't get much further. <laughs> now they are extremely angry at me. Fuck. Oh, radar station right there. Goodness. Gravy. Woo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. Only so much you can do when you got thirty to forty of them after you.
Tiny Valley is saving me so many times over. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, missiles are all well and good, but uh, how about something a little bit more active on our part? Maybe we'll trade up to the Hawk. Uh, perhaps the Hawk A with... Wait, 30 millimeter auto cannon. Is that different than the other? Oh, hold on a second. That might be different. Yeah. Auto cannon as in I don't need to fire? I don't need to aim? Oh no, I do need to aim, but. Nearly as maneuverable this time, so this is going to be a interesting go of things. We are extra fast, so that's something. We need to gain some uh, distance from the situation. destroyed him, but I think I pulled out of that dive a little bit too soon. Thinking that the remainder of my shots is gonna be good enough. Coming out of that valley, we would have had enough cover to last on out. Not quite, though. Mm. Mm. Hey, Drew, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Is this exactly like the other one, but with the chase view? Uh, yeah, sort of. Like, I'd, I'd consider it a pretty... pretty reasonable sequel to Furious Angels, right? It's by the same... same dev. Same kind of overarching concept, right? Ooh, that thing is hopefully toast now. One more. Oof. 
<laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Kind of dove in a little bit sharply there. Couldn't maneuver my way back out. when they dive right in front of my actively firing weapon. Ding-dongs. <laughs> ah, jeez. Sure, there's a dude right in front of me that got me that time. Oof. <laughs> well, he took a bullet for his buddy. Good for him. Very chivalrous. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> A little side swipe going on, no problem, no problem. Oh, good gravy there, unhappy with me. <laughs> Dogfights are a huge challenge. I remember playing a bunch of Wing Commander 3 way back when. Yeah, the Wing, the Wing Commander series was never one that I played myself, actually. I heard a lot of good things about it, though. It wasn't part of my repertoire way back when. Which is a bit unfortunate, because I do dig uh, dogfights and shit.
Three of the five radar stations, at least. Which the only ones I can target without being. Oh my god! Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Shit! They've caught up to me! <laughs> oh, the shithead. Good gravy. There's no way. <laughs> Alright, you can't really run from them, can you? As soon as you make even a partial turn back, they are just all over you. Been away from having a target. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you little shitheads. his buddies jumped in front of me that time. Couldn't save him now. Wow, okay. Uh this 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 plane ain't doing it for us. Um okay. How about better maneuverability? Same other same loadout otherwise though. Ooh, wow. Alright, so we've got half the armor. So now we take one bop and we're essentially done. That might not be a good combo. Well, it does come back really quickly. So at least we got that going for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
balls. <laughs> Oh, uh, I saw like six or seven in front of me, like, ah, I might be able to take one of them. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. mine just decided to plant it right in my face. Good job. I feel like perhaps we should pick a weapon that doesn't require us to do so much active aiming. Because this is not going extremely well. Drawing a beat on that guy. Fuckers. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> and I turn back around, and suddenly the sky is just full. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. I think we're good with probably the, the plane and the variant. We just need to swap back to uh, heat-seeking missiles. Alright, let's go. These are the more powerful variants. It's gonna be one for the smaller ones, two for the bigger ones. Assuming they hit their target, of course. Did I get smoked by there? You little bitches, I thought we were on our way.
Got a little bit too close to that radar. Oops. Those two missed. <laughs> they were dead on target. Did a little shimmy sham and suddenly they didn't hit him. I shouldn't have gotten as close to that one as I did. All right. <laughs> Turn around and again, the sky is just filled. Well, I can keep away from them for a bit, but Jesus. Once they group up like that, there's no way I'm taking them, any of them down. my bow there that I can't get a lock. <laughs> oh my god, fucking meat grinder. <laughs> oh 
shit. Okay, we've thinned enough of the herd following us, I think. There's one or two stragglers every time we turn around. Chipping away. I got blasted out of the sky by a dumbass mine. Ah, fudge. Okay, yep. Here they come. <laughs> on that one a little bit. those mines draw a bead. It's damn tough to shake them off.
Okay. Excuse me. getting a little bit further with the missiles than they were with the cannon. It's kind of hard to tell, though. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Shithead. Fudge! As long as they tag me twice, I'm done. Shitheads? goodness. Skate up out of that one. I figured I could lure a couple of them down into the ground. I think I did, but I ended up doing it myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the hell was that? Boo! Ugh. <laughs> yeah, get how I missed that first dude there. And he should have been toast. He had two missiles right on him. Fucker. Damn targets. Can't keep a lock on them. off one at a time now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, you a-holes. Alright, fine. We'll try the other weapon then. Also, maybe a... Maybe the eagle, too. Eagle with the better maneuverability and the auto-aim turret, I guess. be such a good thing when things get super dicey.
again. Winged on that one. <laughs> oh, come on! What did it mean? Ah, you little shit. That seemed to go a little bit better, though. Definitely nuked a couple of them before they got to me. Right in front of me. Couldn't get him. Okay, excuse me. Uh, keep my finger on the trigger for a touch longer, apparently. Got enough maneuverability where we can match their turn and just needle them the entire way. Whoa, excuse me. Now it's gonna get a little bit stodgy because we're not gonna be able to hold a lock on a single dude for very long. <laughs> oh, 
Um, okay, how did neither of those shitheads eat it? Like, come on. Ah, did I catch the ground? Yeah, damn it. It's rushed right up to meet me. range of this weapon. Gotta get right up in there. I dip my nose up to try to take a shot. <laughs> They're all over me. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on! <laughs> you shit. Oi. Well, I wonder how much I need to be directly pointed at them to make this work. Seems like we can be on a pretty oblique angle for them and still get a hit. Maybe not as effective, but at least it'll allow us to score some damage. Still had a beat on me. Piece of shit.
there. Oh my good gravy. Come on. our peak already tonight. <laughs> oh, good gravy, please. <laughs> him down but he got to the trigger first apparently oh bitch Okay, all right. Maybe we had better luck with the actual manual aim 30 millimeter.
right next to him. Barely get him. Well, okay, alright. Neither of those fuckers ate it, huh? Yeah, I doubt that. Alright, maybe the auto 20 is not doing it for us. Okay, excuse me? I double KO'd the shithead. Oof. Oh, good lord. Aim is not exactly doing good right now, is it? <laughs> Dipped its rear end just a little bit too low.
Ah, come on! Bullshit! Asshole mine. Ultimate maneuverability then. And 30 millimeter, and there we go. Fine. Wanna fucking dance? Let's dance! Pieces of shit, if I'm gonna get two shot anyways. damn barn. This might be too maneuverable for our own good. Can't get a stable aim on anything.
<laughs> All right, that thing's too maneuverable, I think. Not stable enough to get good aim. Uh, all right. Got the more effective barrel rolls. We'll still have good maneuverability, just not as good. And we'll have better armor, too. Quite sure what better barrel rolls actually means, but hey, better is better, right? Maybe this 30 mil isn't as effective as one of the other ones, too. It seemed to eat more shots. We're going down. Ha! <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. What about one of the other planes, then? Thirty mil auto cannon? No, I think I like the dual 30. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's better. Throw out a bit more flak every time. Oh, you little shithead. I did not get tagged by one more of those. Fucker. Bitch ass. Got you first, fucker. Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay, how did that first idiot not eat shit? Come on, man. Garbage. Successful night, but a night nonetheless. Fucking... Ugh. Okay, eat my ass. <laughs> there's no way I can't get an aim on anybody when there's 20 bajillion of them. Fucking hell. I swear the homing missiles come into play, just fucking fire and forget, usually, but... I'm 
All right, fine. You know, fucking Let's fight this from space then. Okay, as high as we can go. Whoa. <laughs> Yep. As high as we can go. <laughs> Alright, so maybe that wasn't very effective. Goodness, please. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, like that was four or five of them just crashing out, which is great. I have to worry about. Another two or three crashed there.
on. Why is at least three or four of them shooting at me at any given time? The chances. Been my way out of that one. me. Piece of shit.
Come on! Oh, I think that one just kind of tagged me. God damn it. Shitheads. I was right on him. side figures. So far, there's nothing you can do about them just fucking grouping up. Alright. Fuck you! Come on. 
Oh. Shoot. Fucking hell, was I supposed to do about that? Oi! Oh, I think we should probably be done for tonight. Okay, not sure what flew up my tailpipe there.
Okay, that's enough for today. <laughs> Couldn't really make much progress on that, unfortunately. But, that's alright. What do you expect off our first-ish night with the game? Mm. 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 But whatever, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with Afterburn. Uh, by that time, the campaign will have reset, so we'll be, we'll be starting from mission one, which is good. That'll help us ease into it a bit more, rather than just going to the final mission right away. Uh, and then we'll probably try endless mode a little bit, since that's a, a bit more ramping into it than uh, just starting at a hundo right away, which is good and cool. Uh, but that's Wednesday night. Uh, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, will be Shmup Book Club. So, uh, Phalanx, or Soikyo Gorontai, or Eskatos. Friday we're off, Saturday's up in the air as always, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST is long play. So more Dead Cells, another very fun game. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.